Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Today we're going to do episode 3 of Voyager Elite Force walkthrough. So here we go. Alright, let's see if any of these consoles are working. So we're on the alien ship. I've never seen such a ship. Are these yellow things? Um, a health terminal, basically. So just go up to them and press spacebar. Just give me a minute to start the download. And we've got the weapon ones over there. The bluish ones. I kinda like it. You would. You're a bullion. Always like the graphics in uh, this level. Fireflies. For the time, they were very good. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here too. He's accessing it now. Oh. Just start downloading. Okay, I've got it. Starting download. I think trouble's on the way. Oh, yep. These guys are quite tricky to deal with. They do quite a bit of damage. Sure to get some uh, ammo. Right? Yes, sir. They just stopped. Definitely health. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. I'm pretty sure those aliens are the same ones that were in the Equinox episodes of Voyager. So, this game must have been made after that episode. Yes, it would have been. That's interesting. Maybe they just stole the idea for the game developers, I'm not sure. Watch out. What are those things? Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? I'm ready for sure. This level has a bit of a perfect dark feel to it to me. I don't know if anybody played that on the N64. And you go on the uh, alien ships. Right. We have the scavenger rifle, don't we? Let's see if that's any better. That's the way to section 29. Cool effects on the doors. I like that. Yep. This is the problem, they attack, attack you from all different sides. Yeah. 
Now these things here, you destroy them, I believe it stops them from coming in temporarily, but those light things repair it. Pretty pointless then. Now we need to get up there. And that's a ladder, yeah. Okay. So we need to go over to this uh, control point. There we go. It's open. Right. Now don't jump down because you will lose health. You don't want to do that. You need your health in this uh, level. It's quite tough. Just go down the ladder. Get out of here. They're everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the room we were in before. Got the transporter. Ah, right, now you've got to be careful with these. Yeah, best using the, um, the sniper, the zoom. Take them out, one by one. They do a lot of damage. Crystal down there. Full ammo. Let's go. Wait for me. Now into a cutscene. Quite thorough enough. Hey, Chell! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there are three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you! He just came that way. Those crystals. What is that? Some kind of alien device. A weapon, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, now. This 
weapon. Really cool. It's very effective against the aliens. As I was saying, uh, it's very effective against the aliens. Um, one sh the first shot, sort of a low power feature, one shot kill an alien. Um, the high power setting shoots out one that can hit five at the same time. That's very good for those annoying floating jellyfish. like another of those transporters over there. All right. Let's go. Fatality. No. What happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. To be fair, she was quite annoying. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. Yes, nothing. We better get Make sure you write that down, Chell. Or we might be next. Okay. So... Let's see... Yes, we need to shoot. There you go. Oh, just a word of warning, be careful here. I don't know if those purple things can come back and repair it, and if they do, then we're toast. Maybe not. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> hate those things. That the phaser. Yeah. It's more precise. It's the best way of getting rid of those. It's like a fish thing. My health is very low. Let's be careful here. No more crazy stunts. That's it. The computer core. Nothing else. Start pressing buttons. No health. That must be the ship. Hey, is that the starship graveyard we caught in? What's that in the middle? Hmm. Planet. I wonder if that's their home. That is huge. Looks like a space station. I wonder if that thing's responsible for trapping all these ships here. down the core from here. The main controls are on that upper level. Hmm. But I think I found the security sequence for that door. Hold on. As long as there's no baddies behind it, we're okay. Yep. 
Yep, that's much better. As long as you don't miss. Going to run. Hmm. Ooh, health. Great, I can be like Rambo again. Uh Phaser. Looks a treat. Come on, Chell, do something. Millions. Again, I'm looking out for those pink things. Don't want them repairing that. No sign of them. She didn't make it. Yeah, it was Chell's fault. Understood. We'll be in the back. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in episode four.